we're gonna do today, ladies and gentlemen, is make garlic shrimp. This garlic shrimp is gonna have tons of garlic in it. Olive oil, paprika, chili peppers. First, I need a pan over medium heat, all right? Next, add the shrimp in the bowl. Some salt, some pepper, some paprika, and we're gonna also add red chili flakes. So the pan's preheating. I'm just gonna toss the shrimp in these beautiful, fragrant spices. We're gonna add a decent amount of olive oil in here, but about a quarter cup. We're gonna add garlic. We let that cook for one minute. If you get your pan too hot, your garlic is gonna burn. And there's nothing worse than the flavor of burnt garlic. So we want this pan on about medium heat to release those flavors, and then we're gonna add our shrimp to this pan. Now, how do we know when shrimp is cooked through? The tail starts to curl. It goes from translucent to opaque. What is the texture of shrimp when it's overcooked? Rubbery. That's no good, right? We don't want that. So just when it starts to curl, just when it's opaque, that's when we know it's absolutely perfect. And now all we have to do with this is uh, flame it or deglaze the pan with a little bit of French cognac. Remove the pan from that flame. Put your thumb over the bottle and you just add a little bit right on top. If you're lucky, this will set a blaze. Deglazing the pan is gonna release any bits and juices from the bottom of it and add a really, really great flavor. I'm gonna do a couple over here. And you take a little bit of this sauce that we've created and we simply pour that right on the top. And we get that bread nice and soaked. And we are done.